All right, so these are the Dragon Dragon Claw. Hopefully I say that right. Flat bar pogies. I think they're around $80 at the current time of filming this video. Um, they are uh, for keeping your hands warm in the winter. So um, I'm switching from some bar mitts just because the bar mitts have this strap inside that I really dislike. And these will mount onto the end of your bar so I don't have that strap in the way. Um, I will have to drill a hole into my current grips somewhere around there because they have the ends that go in and fasten it to. So this end goes into your bars on your bike right here. So that goes in, holds that in place through this little hole over here. So I'll try to film some of that and show you guys what that looks like. All right. You idiot. All right, so first impressions of these, uh, they seem pretty durable, um, pretty good fabric. Um, got some uh, soft layering on the inside. Seem thick enough. Um, you know, they got a zipper here to let air in if it's too hot, um, also to help you install it on your bike. So, and then a Velcro here at the end to keep the, keep them coming out. I'll show you a little bit better once we get it kind of situated on the bike. All right, so first thing you need to do um, is obviously remove your handlebars so that you can drill them in. Maybe you have a different pair of handlebars where you don't need to drill. Maybe you have the handlebars with removable bar ends, but I have all my grips don't have any of that. So that's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna take your little wrench. Oh, it'd be great if you get the right size. All right, now we have the right size. Let's try this again. So you should be able to just loosen this And then just kind of twist them. Just go a little looser on that. Boom, done. All right, so we need to drill a hole. Hopefully you guys can see that. It needs to be that big to go into the bar ends. So um, I don't have a drill bit that's exactly that size, but I've got one that's close. I'm hoping I can just drill it and then kind of ream it out a little bit. Um, see if that goes through. So, I'll try to show you what I'm doing here, if I can. Probably not the safest, but you know, just be careful, don't push hard. Well, hole started. Let's see if we can get a knife, maybe clean this up with a razor blade a little bit. Kind of just see how this goes. I imagine if we can get it just to where that this plastic piece is kind of rounded out, that should be plenty to hold that in, I think. We'll find out. Woody, speed up! Speed up! All right, so usually on grips, if you didn't know, most time they have a marking that tells you if it's right or left. So you can see right there, this is the left. Okay, so that will go on there. Now let's just see if the bar end will fit in. Looks like it will. Looks like it goes far enough in there as well too, so I think we should be good. 
All right, so, you know, tighten your grip first, get it back to its original positioning, which for mine was kind of about right there. And if you have carbon bars, you don't need to go too tight, you just snug, they just, you're just trying to stop them literally from just rotating around and twisting on you and coming off. Like so. Okay, now we got those tightened on there. Got the zipper off, the Velcro off. This should just slide over all your stuff here. Just like so. Okay, and line that up with the hole. This is just gonna go inside here. Kind of hold it snug and let's see if we can just tighten this down. Let's hold this here. Kind of feel tightening up. Let's make sure we get the right angle on this here. Probably something like that. I took a lot more turns than I thought. All right, so after you get it kind of tightened up and you kind of have the right angle, you might have to try the angles to see what works best. You're just gonna take, you're gonna zip this back up. Just tighten this around here so air doesn't get in. So I'm assuming something like that. And then just kind of put your hand in, check where everything is, see if it's in a good spot. I'll probably have to take the bike down because I can't really tell from here if it's a good spot. Might need to twist it up a little. Something like that. All right, so I got them both on there. Um, they feel really good. Got it strapped. Um, there's quite a bit of room in here. Feels nice. Uh, my brake levers are a little far out and they kind of touch the ends just a tad, I think. But I can bring those back in just a hair. I am pretty far out because I like them really far out. So we'll take a look. Um, I'm gonna go for a ride and I'll let you know how they are. Idiot, oh. idiot, idiot. All right, so conclusion on these 45 North Dragon Claw bar mitts. They are fantastic. I've done three rides now, um, varying temperatures from about 20 degrees to, how's today, 37, 38. So, and rit road with gloves, without gloves, with light gloves. With winter gloves, definitely too hot. For sure. So, um, regular gloves, perfect. Um, no gloves, perfect. Not a problem with all three scenarios. So, I typically don't ride without gloves. I prefer just a regular trail glove. So, that's just me personally, just because I like just the feel of the grips better. So, overall, I highly recommend these. Um, please like, subscribe if you like the video. Uh, if you want to see more review videos or mountain biking videos um, and a whole bunch of outdoor videos, um, stay tuned and subscribe, please. Have a good day.